Hello, 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 everyone. Minister Chandra Brundage here at Facebook Live. Glory to God. Grateful and thankful to be back with you again. Facebook Shine. Talking about the now factor, T-N-O-W-F. Whatever you're going to do for Christ, do it right now. Glory to God. It is July the 27th, 2020, uh, Monday evening. It's a late evening. Glory to God. It's actually 9.01 p.m. If some of you cannot chime in with me right now, that's quite okay. You can always go back and look over the message. But I'm still grateful and thankful that God allowed me to uh, come and, and share, you know, a word with you, something that he had given unto me to share. So I just want to, you know, quickly pray, glory to God, for his will to be done on tonight. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for your grace and your mercy. We thank you for peace everlasting. We thank you for your love, the joy that's our strength on tonight. We thank you, Father God, that you have kept us another day. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Though there is chaos, confusion, glory to God that uh, that's all around us. But we counted all joy on tonight. Glory to God that you are with us. As you said in your word, you never leave us and you never forsake us. You will be with us until the end of this world. So God, we just want to tell you thank you. Thank you for all that you've done and what you're preparing to do. We do not have any complaints, but all we have is a thank you. Glory to God, because it can be glory to God worse. So we glorify you and we honor you for what you are about to do. We ask that you bless every soul. Glory to God that will hear your word on today. Purify their minds, body, and their souls. Restore glory to God what the enemy, glory to God, has tried to take away. And Father God, we forever give you the honor for it and the glory that's due unto your name in Jesus' name. Thank God and amen. Glory to God. I'm always in prayer for you. Glory to God. My heart goes out to you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So you can shine. Glory to God. So men may see your good works and glorify your father, which is in heaven. We're talking about the now factor. Glory to God. T-N-O-W-F. That's what it stands for. The now factor. Whatever you're going to do for Christ, do it now. Do it today. Glory to God. I want to share with you about stand on the wall. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Many of you know of the passage of scripture in Nehemiah, the sixth chapter. Glory to God, around about the third verse. If you do not know, I, glory to God, commend you to go. I compel you to go to Nehemiah. That's in the Old Testament. For those of you who might not know, glory to God in the book of Nehemiah. Nehemiah, the sixth chapter and verse three. Glory to God. Talking about when Nehemiah was told to come down from building the wall of Jerusalem. Glory to God. Some of us have started to build something for God and the enemy is trying to get you to come down. Glory to God. But I'm telling you today, stay on the wall. Glory to God. The wall represents something that acts as a barrier or defense. It covers Glory to God. It stabilizes and it gives you strength. Glory to God. Again, that wall, glory to God, that I'm telling you not to come down uh, from, it's glory to God. It acts and it represents as a barrier or a defense. It is to cover you, stabilize you, and strengthen you in your destiny and your purpose. Glory to God. So back to Nehemiah, the sixth chapter and the third verse, Nehemiah fought. Glory to God to build the city walls of Jerusalem for the people of Judah. Glory to God who were being oppressed by their enemies. They needed cover. Okay. They needed protection. They need to be shielded. Glory to God because they were oppressed. Glory to God. I, I say to someone out there that might feel oppressed on tonight. Glory to God because of what we're facing in this world today. I tell you, glory to God, God is still on the throne. Glory to God. He is giving you the strength. He has given you the authority. He has given you, glory to God, everything that you need, the tools, glory to God, to fight this battle. Glory to God. I hear in my spirit, glory to God, the, the race is not given to the swift or the strong, glory to God, but it's given to the one who will endure to the end. And you ought to say, I am that one. I will not come down from building, glory to God, what God has purposed for me to build. 
Now, again, the, 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 the people of Judah was oppressed by the enemy. Glory to God. And they needed cover. Glory to God, which is what God wants to do for us. He wants to cover us, protect and shield us. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Get, bring us into safety. Glory to God on, for, on what he has called us to do. I hear Psalms 91. He that dwelleth in a secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty God. We're talking about safety, resting in his presence while you do a work for him. And I want to tell somebody, come on and take cover. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You out there, some of you, glory to God without cover. God wants to cover you today. Glory to God. Now, when you're doing a work for God, there will be opposition. Glory to God. I see some of you on the line today. Glory to God. You're building something right now and there has been opposition. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But God's saying take cover. Continue to push. Continue to press. Glory to God because he got your back. Glory to God. And everything that the enemy meant for evil, glory to God. God had already turned it around. We speak things to be not as though that they were. We walk by faith and not by sight. And we're going to lean on the everlasting arms of God himself. Glory to God. That same opposition that we're facing today as we try to build, glory to God, a fight for our purpose and our destiny. That's the same opposition that Nehemiah faced when he made a decision to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He made a decision. Some of us have to make a decision. Glory to God. Am I going to work for God? Or am I going to work for myself? Am I going to do the things, glory to God, that don't bring, glory to God, prosperity, riches, glory to God, and wealth in, 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 in God? That's the question today. Make a decision. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Who you will serve. You're going to serve your purpose? You're going to serve your destiny? Who you going to serve? Make the decision today. Talking about shining before uh, before men so they can see your good works and glorify your father which is in heaven. Glory to God. Whatever you're going to do for Christ, do it right now. That's that now factor that I'm talking about. Don't do it. Don't wait till tomorrow. Glory to God. Don't wait until next week, but start building today. Glory to God. The enemy tried to, to uh, make uh, Nehemiah come down from building. Just as the enemy would try to distract you, he would try to distract me. Glory to God from, the, from our purpose and our destiny. Glory to God. But, somebody ought to say, but, glory to God, you must stay on the wall. Stay on the wall. I'm going to stay on the wall. Glory to God, because God is good. He's been good. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And the enemy doesn't mean you any good. Glory to God. The Bible says his only purpose, his only purpose is to steal, kill, and to destroy. Glory to God. Go to your word. Glory to God and read it in John 10 and 10. Glory to God. Now, somebody should, should ask, why? When the enemy try to bring me down from building what God has told me to build, why should I come down? Glory to God. Why should I go to a place that God didn't tell me to go? Why should I do a thing that God didn't call me to do? Glory to God. And if it doesn't align, glory to God, with purpose and destiny, you must refuse to move. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I see some of you. You ought to type in and say, I refuse to to move. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It must be in agreement to what God has purposed for you to do. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It must be in agreement. Now, when God gives you a word concerning your purpose and destiny, he will bear witness to his word. He spoke with what? Confirmation. Glory to God. How many? I, I know some of you can de uh, detect to this. When God give you something, he say something, and he confirm his word one, two, three times. And you say, God, I know that's you. Glory to God. Because why? He, he reaffirmed himself. John 1 and 1, in the beginning was the word. The word was with God. The word was God. So God don't need no one to bear witness for him. He bear witness of himself. 
Glory to God. I'm going to say that again. God bear witness of himself. So what he'll do once again, he will reaffirm himself and his spirit will bear witness to your spirit. Glory to God. Anything that you that 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 you're walking in, glory to God. And, and you don't feel, glory to God, that God is in that thing. You confused about it. You unsure. Because remember, God is not the author of confusion. He's the author of peace. Anything that he gives you to do, glory to God, I'm a witness to it. He's going to reaffirm himself. He's going to bear witness to that thing. Glory to God. You can read Romans the 8th chapter and the 16th verse where it again talks about God will bear witness to your spirit. Glory to God. And we must remember God is a spirit. I, I say this all the time. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in, in truth. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Have you ever seen anyone say, glory to God, I'm a believer. Glory to God. I, I, I am I'm a Christian. Glory to God. I'm this and I'm that. Glory to God. But as the word of God say, a tree is known by the fruit that it bears. But you see them walking outside of what they stated out of their mouths. Glory to God. We have to worship God with our voice, our, 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 our speech, you know, our, our actions. Glory to God. Why? Because he's a spirit. And our spirit, again, bears witness to his spirit. Now, if his word doesn't bear witness to your spirit, don't move. Glory to God. I shared in my book re, re, um, in redemption how I moved out. Glory to God before God. I moved out ahead of him. God told me to wait on some things. Glory to God. But I moved out ahead of him. Glory to God. And when I moved out ahead of, ahead of him, it didn't work out for me. Glory to God. I had to turn around and repent before him and say, God, forgive me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And then I had to do my first works over. Glory to God. That's why I can glorify him right now. And that's why I can walk in destiny and purpose right now. Glory to God. Because I know the consequences. Glory to God. of going ahead of him. And I don't know about you. Glory to God. But I don't want to walk ahead of God. Glory to God. I want to do what it is that he had called me to do. So therefore, I'm not coming down from the wall. Come on, let's be like Nehemiah. Glory to God. And do not come down from building the wall. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You can go to uh, Psalms 46 and 10 where it talks about, glory to God, being still and know. This is what God said. He said, be still and know that I'm God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Have you ever been in the, uh, you'll have, have you ever been your back? It's glory to God is what I'm trying to say. Your back was against the wall. You didn't know what decision to make at that time. Glory to God. So you move, glory to God, impulsively in what you thought you should move in. Glory to God. But I want to help somebody today. If you are unsure, if God doesn't reaffirm his word to you, glory to God, if he doesn't bring clarity to that thing, don't move. Glory to God. Because if the enemy can get you to move, you can uh, forfeit your purpose and your destiny. Hallelujah. You can abort your purpose, meaning there will be no life to it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God want to bring some restoration to us. He want to bring life. Glory to God. He want to bring health. He want to bring glory to God. Hallelujah. And, and, and wealth, riches to us. Glory to God. That's what God wants to do for us. The blessings of the Lord make it rich. And it added no sorrow. Glory to God. So stay faithful. I'm telling somebody, stay faithful. Glory to God. Watch as well as pray. Glory to God. We're praying, but sometimes we're not watching. We're watching, but we're not praying. We want to watch as well as pray. Amen. Glory to God. Matthew 26 and 41. Glory to God. You can read about that watching and praying. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Your spirit is willing. I want to help somebody today. Your spirit is willing, but your flesh is weak. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'll say that again. Your spirit is willing, 
but your flesh is weak. That's why we have to watch as well as pray. We have to pray and watch. Glory to God. And therefore, be sober also. Talking about not coming down from building what God has told you to build. Glory to God. Be sober. Be vigilant because your enemy seeks to devour you. Glory to God. Remember John 10 and 10. There is no other purpose that the enemy has. Glory to God. Is to steal, kill, and destroy. Glory to God. If you're not, if we, I'm going to say we, if we're not sober, if we're not uh, vigilant, glory to God, he can devour us. Glory to God. You can go to 1 Peter 5 and 8. But we don't want to give him that opportunity. We don't want to make room for the enemy by coming down from building the wall that God has allowed us to build. And remember that wall represented protection, stability. It represents a covering, a shield. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That God gives us in order to build. Don't come down from building what God has told you to build. Shine. Glory to God so men may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. We're talking about the now factor. Whatever you're going to do for Christ, do it right now. Glory to God. Right now is the time to move out in purpose and destiny. When you choose not to be moved, that means you're, you're, you're fighting for your purpose. Glory to God. Just like Nehemiah did, he fought to continue the building of the walls of, 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 of Jerusalem. The city was ruined. And some things, glory to God, that we see with our own two eyes, it looks ruined. It, it, it doesn't feel good. Glory to God. But God said it's not over until I say it is over. All you have to do is put your hands to the plow and don't look back. Because he said in, in his word, you will be unfit for the kingdom. We're not trying to look back in this season. It doesn't matter how it looks. Glory to God, this world. We are in a, in a chaotic position as a global nation. But God, he's still on the throne. And he's telling us not to move. Glory to God. Do not come down from building that wall. Glory to God. So I want to ask you, what are you fighting for? What are you fighting for? Complete the mission that God has purpose for you to complete. He said in Philippians 1 and 6, he said, the work that I have begun in you, I shall finish it. There, is, there shouldn't be any stress and a struggle about how, how am I going to finish the work, God. God, I have, God had already given you the provision and, 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 the, and, the, and the wisdom. Glory to God to, to continue the process. All you have to do is finish strong, finish the race. Glory to God. It's not until you come down. Listen at this. It's not until you come down from the wall, the enemy can deceive you. Glory to God. I'm telling somebody be not deceived. Glory to God. God is not marked. Whatever man sow, he shall reap. Glory to God. And be not ignorant of the devil's devices. Glory to God. There are some wicked devices that the enemy has. There are some tricks, some schemes, and some scams that he has out there for us. Glory to God. So we can come down from the wall. Hallelujah. Once again, it's not until you come down from the wall that the enemy can distract you. Be not distracted in this season. It's not until you come down from the wall when the enemy can manipulate you. Glory to God. Telling you lies. Glory to God. Tricking you to, and, and making you believe a lie from the truth. Manipulation. Glory to God. And cause you to lose focus. On your purpose and your destiny. I'm telling somebody out there to shine. So men may see your good works. And glorify your father which is in heaven. The now factor. Whatever you're going to do for Christ. Do it right now. He has given you the ability. He has given you the covering to do it. So don't come down from building the wall. Someone might ask. Why do I need a purpose? Glory to God. Why? Why can I just be? 
Why can I just be left alone? Glory to God. Why can I do what I want to do versus what God called me to do? Glory to God. I want to say that last. I feel God. Glory to God. There are some of you out there, glory to God, that want to do what you want to do outside of what God has called you to do. It's a difference. What God has called me to do versus what I want to do. Well, if you're wondering that, glory to God, just understand when God made us, he gave us a purpose. Yes. Go to Genesis 1 and 26 through the 28th verse. When he made man, he gave us a purpose. Glory to God. Number one, God made man. Number two, God blessed man. Number three, God purposed man and set him up for success. Some of us thinking, how am I going to succeed in this thing? God made you to succeed. God made you, glory to God, to succeed. Hallelujah. Yes, he did. Yeah. Glory to God. He set you up for success from the beginning. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And what did he say? He said, be fruitful. Multiply. Replenish the earth. So do it and have dominion. I'm talking about rule. God want us to rule. He gave us the power and the authority to walk in it. Walk in your power. Walk in your anointing. Walk in the authority that God has set within you in your core. I shared that in my book, Tap Into Your Core. Everything you need and everything you desire is in your core. It's in, it, it, I'm talking about the spiritual womb. God already placed it there. You just have to discover, discover that thing. Yeah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God gave man seed also for meat. And I want to tell somebody, stop being thirsty for the wrong seed. I remember in the season of my life, I was thirsty. I want somebody to understand that I've been through it. That's why I'm able to speak on it. That's why I'm able to encourage. That's why I'm able, glory to God, to motivate and inspire others to stay on the wall. Glory to God, because I know the consequences of coming down. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes, stop being thirsty for the wrong seed. The Bible said, blessed are they who hunger and thirst after righteousness. <laughs> Hallelujah. After righteousness. That's Matthew 5 and 6. Go there. Study it. Read it. Reference it. Glory to God for your own approval unto God. Hallelujah. Thirsty. Hallelujah. What are you thirsty for? Are you thirsty for the righteousness of God? Stay on the wall. When you thirst, he said it, Matthew 6. He said, he said, blessed are they that thirst after righteousness and hunger after righteousness. It's only through righteousness is if uh, we can be filled. There's no other satisfaction outside of righteousness. I just want to help somebody. I want to help somebody. Hallelujah. Some of us may wonder, why am I barren? Why am I in lack of a thing? Glory to God. There's some things that you are in lack of right now. Glory to God. And you wondering why. Why can I succeed? Why can I go forward? Why can I move in the things that God has called me to do? Check your appetite. <laughs> I want to tell somebody, let's check our appetite. Check our appetite. Glory to God. See what you're, you're, you're thirsty and you're hungry for. Reevaluate that thing. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Be careful for nothing, says God. Glory to God. We want to be hungry and thirsty after the things of God. We talking about purpose and destiny. Shine. Glory to God. 
so men can see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Talking about the now factor. Whatever you're going to do for Christ, do it right now. Don't come down from the wall. Don't stop building. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God has gave you covering. He has gave you strength. Glory to God. To build. He's protecting you. He, he's shielding you. Yeah. Go forward. Go do it. Glory to God. I shared with you on my last live. It's, God has given you the green light. Go. Glory to God. The light is not red in this season. The light is green. Go and shine. Glory to God. Again, so men may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. The now factor. The now factor. Whatever you're going to do for Christ, do it right now. Build now. Keep your focus and your vision. Because you remember in Proverbs 29 and 18, it says, without a vision, people perish. We don't want to be without a vision. Glory to God. We don't want to be destroyed because of our lack of obedience or our, our lack of, our, uh, of hearing God's voice when he speak to us. Remember, he said, my sheep know my voice and a stranger they won't follow. Come on, let's hear God today. Do not come down from the wall. Don't move. Glory to God. If God didn't bear witness to it, if, it, if it's not aligning up with your purpose and your destiny, God say, be still. Know who I am in this season. Yeah. You ought to say, God put me here. That's what I told the devil myself. See, I'm sharing with you the things of, that God has gave me. And that's what he told me. He told me to shine. Glory to God. And I'm shining today. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So you can shine. Hallelujah. Yeah, it's a privilege to be a son and a daughter of God. It's a privilege. Hallelujah. It's a privilege to serve him today. Glory to God. Choose ye this day who you will serve. We're going to serve purpose in this season. We're going to serve our destiny in this season. Don't come down from the wall. Stay on the wall. And then remember to say this, God put me here. Man didn't put me here. God put me here and I'm not moving. Glory to God. The scripture says in uh, Psalms 30 and 6, in my prosperity, I will not be moved. Glory to God. In my prosperity, I will not be moved. Glory to God. Yes, you are prospering in your ways right now. If you have given your life over to Christ, glory to God, accepted him as your Lord and your personable Savior, glory to God. You have repented of your sins, glory to God. You are privileged and you are, you are prospering as we speak. Glory to God. Say it one more time, Psalms 30 and 6. In my prosperity, I will not be moved because why? God has put me here. When the enemy come in like a flood, you ought to say, God have put me here. I will not be moved. Hallelujah. I will not come down from the wall. Amen. See, what the enemy wants to do is strip us. I'm going to say us. Glory to God. He wants to strip us. Me uncover. Remember the wall represented at the beginning of the of the uh, the text when I when I when I told you that it represents covering. It represents defense. It represents glory to God, strength and security, stability. Yes, the enemy wants to strip us, uncover us. Glory to God. He wants to deprive us of what God has in store for us. As long as we stay on the wall, glory to God, God has a reward. He said in the book of Hebrews, he said, I have a reward. There's a reward to those who didn't legitimately seek me. Let's seek them in this season, in the season, based upon our purpose and based upon our destiny, based upon the Pacific instructions, glory to God, that he has given us to build. Glory to God. 
So serve the enemy notice now, today, I will not be moved. Glory to God. Don't come down from the wall. My sister, my brother, don't come down from building what God told you to build. It doesn't matter what it is, but if God should do it, glory to God. Just like Jesus told Peter. He said, on this rock I build my church. Hallelujah. And the gates of hell should not prevail against it. As long as you keep him first. As long as you put him first. And stay on the wall. Continue to build. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. There's nothing that the enemy can do. Glory to God. Now you can move yourself from the building the wall. Glory to God. Just like I shared with you. Glory to God. In, in a season of my life, years ago, I, 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 I got off, I got off a course. Glory to God. And I want to share this with somebody. Glory to God. Because there's somebody out there, glory to God, that has gotten off course. And it seems like you cannot get back on course. But the enemy is a liar. Glory to God. Glory to God. I decree and declare today, glory to God, that you, glory to God, will get back on the wall. You will start to rebuild. You will dedicate your time. You will dedicate your efforts. You will dedicate your body, mind, and soul to purpose and destiny. I'm, I'm in prayer with you. I'm in prayer for you. I stand in the gap for you. Glory to God that you are, glory to God that you, and to tell you that you are more capable than you ever were to build. Glory to God. And you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. Just don't come down from the wall. Stay on the wall. Continue to build. Glory to God. And to conclude. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And to conclude. Glory to God. How? Somebody might say, how do I stay on this wall? It's shaky. Glory to God. I can't see quite where I'm going. God, I know you told me this and I know you told me that, but it's so much your opposition is working against me. What do I do, God? He say, listen to my voice. Deuteronomy, glory to God, the 28th chapter. He said, when you hear my voice, harden not your heart. Glory to God. Secondly, submit your will to his will. Say to him, Lord, your will be done. Not my will, but your will be done. Thirdly, operate in his timing instead of your own. Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, talks about there is a time and a season for everything that happens under the sun. I'm excited today. Glory to God. I'm excited for you. Glory to God because I see you shining. Shine so men may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Stay on the wall. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The now factor. Whatever you're going to do for Christ, do it right now. Glory to God. So you can receive unexpected territory, unexpected blessings. So you can possess what God has given you to possess. There's a reward for you. Stay on the wall. Glory to God. Until next time, this is Minister Chandra Brundage. Glory to God. At Facebook Shine. At T-N-O-W, standing for the now factor. Whatever you're going to do for Christ, do it right now. I love you with the love of the Lord. Glory to God. And remember, those of you that might know somebody without social media, glory to God, go to my YouTube page. I have all my messages on my YouTube page. Glory to God. All you have to do is in the search box, type shine and whatever that message is. And again, the message for today Glory to God. Hallelujah. Is yes, stay on the wall. So it'll be shine. Stay on the wall. Glory to God. Peace unto you, your family, your household, and whatever that you endeavor to do for God. Remember, he has already given you the power and the authority to do it. All you have to do is move in it. Amen. Move in it. This is your season. Glory to God to move in the things of your destiny and your purpose. I'll see you next time. Glory to God. I love you once again. Good night.